I'm here on the St. Joseph River, close to the Langley Covered Bridge. This is just north of Centerville, Michigan. So I wanted to share with you guys what I am discovering while doing this channel um, about Amish people and their beliefs. I'm, I'm talking about the, the more lenient Amish, the more modern Amish, not the conservative ones. People have contacted me in the comments. I've spoken with people in person and they, see, they say that, no, we do believe that Jesus Christ, we, we do believe that our faith saves us through Jesus Christ um, and that it's not of our works. That sounds awesome. But when I dig a little further, I find, I'm finding that it's, that's not true. <laughs> and the reason why is because when you, when you then ask them, well, are you going to heaven? When you die and they'll say well no we can't nobody can know that we can't know for sure that we're saved i would like to chalk it off as this as well okay they're just they just don't know and hope you know they'll just hopefully get into heaven anyway so first of all not knowing that you're saved not knowing for sure that you're going to heaven flies directly in the face of first john 5 13. and if you don't know if you don't know for sure that you're going to heaven if you don't know for sure that you're saved what has to happen so that you are saved? If you believe that you can fall away, if you believe that as a born again Christian that you can fall away by sinning too much and veering too much off the path, what must happen? What must you do to be, get saved, to be saved at the end? Must you lead a good enough life, a sinless enough life? Because if you believe that, then you're relying on your own works. That is directly contradicting scripture. The only other option would be that, that you could stray too far, that you could lose your salvation because Christ pulled his righteousness off of you, right? Christ gives us his righteousness. That's how we get to heaven, through his righteousness. The only way that you could then not get to heaven when you die is if he takes that away. And when you re read John 6, none that the Father give me, anyone can snatch out of my hands. And I will raise them up on the last day. John 10, 25 through 30, I will lose none. I leave the 99 to go after the one who's straying. Jesus doesn't fail, guys. Jesus is God. He doesn't fail. So if you think you can lose your salvation, it's because that you think you can sin too much, stray too far, which means that you have to do, work harder, try harder to not sin too much. And that's a works-based salvation. I think you guys see what I'm getting at, where I mean that you can't not know that you're saved and not have a works-based salvation. I know people have said, you can't say that your future sins are forgiven. But in Colossians chapter two, it, it says all, you've been forgiven all your trespasses. Your sins have been all your sins have been forgiven. What does all mean? Well, just, you know, all the, just part of them. No, all means all. All your sins have been forgiven. Your past, present, future. Your whole life's sins have been forgiven. That's how big our God's grace is. And once you know that, once you know that, you're, the, the freedom and the joy <laughs> and the, that comes from that is unreal. The burden is lifted. This burden of trying hard to be good enough is gone. 
you feel like you could fly. And you start to begin. You start to begin to try to wrap your mind around how big God's grace is. It's so big. He knew each of your sins. He knew when, how many, yet he still died for you. He hadn't even committed them yet. He knew what was going to happen, yet he still died for you. You don't know for sure if you're saved or not uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a video link a video up here click on that I'll put the video in the description box below it's a video from John MacArthur who talks about it go watch that uh, you can know that you're saved you can know that you're going to heaven there are some who say that a person can walk choose to walk away from the faith I don't see how but I'm not gonna get into that <laughs> we will leave that argument for the professionals Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Share this with your Amish friends. We will see you guys next time. I'm CJ, this is the Amish Potato.